In this short video, I'll be taking you through the IGCSE Cambridge Geography Photo Interpretation questions for the theme weather and climate and vegetation. So for these questions, it's really important that you give simple descriptions of human and physical landscapes and geographical phenomena from a range of stimuli such as photographs, aerial photographs, satellite images and GIS. So with this video, I'll be taking you through example questions that are typically asked common points to consider when looking at the at photographs from this part of the course, um, how to write some of these exam responses, and giving you some other practice questions. All of the resources, the questions from this video can be found in the comments, in the description video link, the link for these resources can be found in the video description. So these are all described questions. So remember that the number of marks for described questions equals the exact number of unique observations, features, points that have to be made. So here's a typical question, this is from June. Top picture, describe the vegetation that you can see and describe the trees that you can see. So typically straightforward eight marks if you recognize what the sort of things are you need to consider. So for example, is really important. So what you can see is very dense vegetation for the top picture. You can see green vegetation, which is seems a bit obvious, but yes, do comment on the, on the, on the um, color. You can see a forest, you can see emergent trees. Remember, it's quite important to identify the climate. So if it's in a tropical rainforest, then you can see emergent trees, palm trees and other examples. On the flip side, if you look at the bottom picture, trees are very tall. They're very straight, they're very unique. They're widely spaced out. They're not dense, they're spaced out. There are leaves at the top. They seem very similar species and few leaves. So when you put those all together, yeah, when you're commenting on the vegetation, remember you comment on, is it dense, is it sparse, is the colour, are there a variety of species, all that type of content. And again, when it comes down to the trees themselves, you're looking at, are they tall, short, densely uh, put together, or are they spread out? Are they of the same species or variety of species? Where are the leaves? These are all the types of things that you need to consider. Now here, a common question is, um, describe two features of the vegetation and explain how they are adapted to the dry climate. So again, it could either be dry or it could be tropical rainforest. So in your notes, remember that you have a range of um, features. So in this case, this would be part of the description bit. So small leaves, thorns, is it a cactus? What are the roots doing? And how they adapted to that dry climate. So here you can see small leaves to prevent water loss through reduced transpiration. So again, to make sure that you can access all four marks in this particular case have a range of clear examples and that's when going back through past questions looking at the mark schemes it's really really important so here are some practice questions for you uh, so again when you're using them look at the question pause the video give it a go um, the next slide will give you a summary again of what to consider when looking at vegetation and trees okay so just some key points to consider Here's question one, to pause, give it a go, and look at the mark scheme. Here's question two, and these are the mark schemes. If you've appreciated this video, please give it a like. If you want to stay tuned for more updates or you want to see other parts of my video, uh, other parts of my channel where I look at map skills and everything else, please subscribe to the channel. And if, more importantly, if you think your friends would find this video useful, please do share it with them. Thank you for watching.